They have a general fund for Crowing Energized, and that's the community health movement. Like a lot of foundations, our, our mission is to raise funds that we then grant out either to help with our facilities, certain programs, equipment purchases for the hospital or the clinics. And then we have a lot of patient assistance funds and things like that that we also raise funds for. And then we're very involved in the community. We have a community grants program. We provide funding to nonprofits in our community that align with our mission. The Community Endowment Fund is, was really established to think far ahead and how are we gonna sustain the programs that we've started? We don't necessarily generate revenue for the, the facility. If anything, we spend money. So um, it's just more important than ever to have this endowment so that long-term we can carry on the mission that we've started in the event that we don't have the funding sources we currently have. We provide grants to nonprofit organizations that are running health-related programs out in the community. We support our local food shelves, We've done grants to the YMCA for childhood obesity programs. We've supported uh, new pickleball courts over in Ironton. We hear back frequently from the people that have taken our lifestyle change class. It's probably what we're really known for because it really is life changing. It's, it's about developing new habits, um, a new lifestyle. And you know, after a year, it's a year long course. After that year, they really have. We offer these classes free for anybody. We also have offered presentations on suicide prevention, and it's called Changing the Narrative. That gets into stigma reduction, but then it also gets into tools, and they talk about the eight dimensions of wellness. And it gives you practical tips to do right away. That, you know, what can you do? What can you do for mindfulness? You know, what can you do for exercise? What can you do for uh, healthy eating? So we try to do about $80,000 worth of grants out into the community. I know we've granted to over 200 different organizations in our service area and have invested over a million dollars back into the community um, to other organizations, which I think is really important. A lot of hospital foundations are more internally focused and our foundation has always had a big focus on community health. A few years ago, the foundation funded purchasing bike helmets. So we go into the uh, fourth grade classrooms, we fit them with the helmets, there's somebody from the ER that does a little talk about the safety and the importance of wearing your helmet and why you should always wear it. And that was something that was funded by the foundation. So any child in this area can receive that bike helmet free of charge. And then our staff volunteer to go out and fit the helmets. So these really are tools to educate our community to ultimately make us a more compassionate and caring community.